Hello and welcome to Recipe for the Day from www.kitchennewbie.com. Today we're making chicken ramen. You can get this recipe on www.kitchennewbie.com and while you're at it why not have a look at the other recipes and also join our newsletter where you'll get our recipes in your inbox every week. Chicken ramen, I remember when we were doing the Edible Garden show, how many years ago, two years ago, three years ago? We've not done it for two years. Was it two years, the last time we did it? We were at um, somewhere in London. <laughs> around oh, the uh, Crystal Palace, not Crystal Palace. No, we were at the... the People's uh, Palace, whatever it was called. Yes, Alexandra the Palace. The Alexandra Palace. And we were staying in the worst hotel I've in ever the world, stayed yes, in. In the world. And we decided we weren't going to eat there. We were going to eat... Wagamama's. Uh, at Wagamama's, which wasn't... It was within walking distance, really. It was about 400 metres. Something like that. Which was a I long way for me. We did, dr- we did drive yeah. around because it was quite cold, Yeah, if I remember rightly. Anyway... Anyway, I remember you having because we always said we weren't very fond of Wagamamas because it seemed to be quick in, I tell you quick what I don't out. Like is that yeah you 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 shoved onto a bench yeah. with a load of other people and then somebody came along and said budge up a bit yeah and that wasn't a person it was a waiter yeah well get lost and but I you want see a chair. there were chairs and tables at this there one was in there. one area a chair and table and so we sat there and you had. I think you had a seafood ramen that day. Right. Uh, and it looked gorgeous, and I think that's one of the nicest things you've ever had in in a, a restaurant, was. an oriental type. I wasn't, I wasn't happy with the cat soup curry. You see, I had that because I like that. I don't like cat soup anyway. Cat soup curry, yeah, it's lovely cat soup curry. But I remember you saying on Monday morning to, to me, I want to make us something that I've been reading about making yeah. for our lunch. Chicken ramen, Japanese style noodle soup. Why don't we have it for tea? And then I thought, oh, maybe it won't be so substantial as all that. Substantial, flipping egg. It was absolutely wonderful. It was completely, and it is this recipe. You'll never mock the Japanese, because I always think of the Japanese of eating sort of very, very lightly. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of cold wet fish, (laughs) some seaweed, and. Maybe some vegetables, and them not really bulking out. And I always spent spent my time thinking, well, how do sumo wrestlers get to be so big? <laughs> and, but this was ultra substantial. It was. It was very. And filling. it is absolutely gorgeously tasty and really worth doing. And if you wanted to, you could use leftover stuff mm. instead of. Um, we buying something special from breasts, from breast because we mm. used chicken breasts. A lot of the recipes have um, very very thinly sliced beef that is as thin as bacon, so that when you pour the 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 broth over it, the broth being boiling hot, it cooks the meat in the oh, bowl. Oh right, I so, see. So so that's another thing. But I, don't think I'd I like thought that. well, <laughs> because we were having chicken, I thought the best to actually do that in a different way. Mm. And so, you get some stock from it then as, as well, don't you? Well, uh, yeah, you get the flavours from it, but what I did was I marinated the chicken first of all. Mm. And it smelled that, lovely all afternoon. That, was, <laughs> that, made a, that made basically the fundamental basis for the soup as well mm. because a lot of the recipes that say you cook your garlic and your ginger mm. first of all and then add other stuff to yeah. that. And then, 
um, make that into your soup. Well, I didn't do it that way around. As we we'll go on, so so you'll find out about that very shortly. But let me give you the um, the receipt for the um, first marinade. of all for the marinade, and you'll find this on the website uh, www.kitchennewbie.com. And if you just type in ramen, mm. it'll come up. <clears throat> and um, you need four really well crushed and chopped finely garlic cloves. Mm-hmm. And about a good centimetre of um, ginger. Hmm. Again, smashed up and See, I chopped it extremely finely. Hmm. Well, yes, but that means you've got to wash your grater, haven't you, as well afterwards. And, yeah, and the, <laughs> you the have to wash thing, your knife. <laughs> well, the other thing is that you end up chopping the last bit anyway because... I can yeah, never it has hold a bit of yeah, stringiness case, anyway, it just, doesn't yeah. it? Go stringy. So that, so then a, a tablespoon, or perhaps less if you don't like it so hot, of Tabasco. Mm. Um, that's just to give it a nice bite. Mm. Um, a, a teaspoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, dark soy sauce, mm. or lights up to you really, whichever you prefer. Um, one tablespoon of Chinese five spice. Mm which you can buy from most supermarkets oh, yeah, now. Yeah. And um, it's absolutely wonderful. But if you aromatic. go to a Chinese supermarket, you get a great big bag for, next to nothing, for a really, kilo yeah. Yeah. that is probably the same amount as what about you get from the supermarket. 50, yeah, yeah. If that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's such a basic thing. And for this, you're also going to need six chicken breast fillets. That's a lot of chicken. It is. Well, it, it, all, it all got it. <laughs> And then 125 mils of white wine. Now, you could use sake if you wanted to do. You could use water if you wanted to do. Yeah. But um, anyway, what what I did was, I, because the chicken came in a packet, you know, mm-hmm. in, a, in a, one of those plastic trays. So mm-hmm. I just cut off the top of the tray and then used that as the basis for the marinade. So mm-hmm. I left the chicken where it was. Right. So and you didn't then, cut your chicken up at this point? No, no, no. I just left it whole. Mm-hmm. And then... Sprinkled over the top of that was the mixture of garlic and ginger. Mm. And then everything else went in there as well, including the wine, very carefully not to wash it all away. Uh, and then a lid went on that, you know, a sort of a piece of tin foil, and then into the fridge for a few hours, just mm. leave it alone. And basically what we're going to do with that then, after it's had its good soaking, it is going to be put in the oven, obviously on a tray, mm. on a baking tray, greased. Which with oh, the, the chicken breasts, the, the whole. chicken breasts go onto the baking tray, mm. and are cooked whole for twenty five minutes, right. um, one hundred and ninety three seven five gas fire. Keeping your marinade. Keeping the marinade because you're going to need it. Yeah. Okay. So whilst that's, well, whilst they're cooking, and it doesn't matter if the cooking time ends and you end up taking it out because it's going to end up in the hot soup as well. Mm. For the rest of the soup, you need a big pan mm. and 1.25 litres of chicken stock, which you, you get whichever way you want to do. You can yeah. either do yourself a mirepoix and some chicken bones and or make a really proper posh one, or mm. you can use a stock pot or a, <laughs> or a bouillon. A, um, what do they call it? A, a, a bouillon. Yeah. yeah, and so um, I don't, I don't like the Oxo ones, <laughs> <laughs> but I I've do not like Oxo. No, that's the reason why. Actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I know you used to like to drink the beef ones, oh, but uh, don't start me on that. It's bad enough as it is, but anyway, so one point two five liters of chicken stock, and then with that, but not gone in yet, you need a big handful of spinach. Um, if you haven't got spinach, okay. would you use anything else? Pak choy. Pak choy, yeah. cabbage. Cabbage, almost anything. I mean, the whole mm. point of this is can be, it can be really posh mm. or it can just... be really cheap. Mm. So, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a, I suppose even some very crispy lettuce would do if, at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there are recipes out there somewhere that has nori in it and mm. various other things. So, um <clears throat> A red pepper, and now when I say sliced finely, I don't mean cubed. I mean very, very yeah. fine, Almost long slices. Stickers. Yeah, like like matchsticks. Match yeah. uh, but they're not really matchstick shape, are they? 
They're sort of... I don't know. They're just thin... Wobbly, ear, wobbly <laughs> ear-shaped things. Um, <clears throat> 500 grams of open cup mushrooms. Mm. Now, if you can get shiitake That's mushrooms... That's a heck of a lot of mushrooms. It was, yeah. Uh, 500 grams? Yeah. That's about 20 mushrooms. There was about 20 mushrooms in it. Golly. <clears throat> Quite a lot. It's a lot of mushrooms. Okay, and, I love them. Yeah. Now, um, in go the stock, and in goes all of the rest of the marinade. Mm. So that's your basic soup soup base, mm. really, the whole thing. And once that's going, uh, bringing it to the boil, turn the heat down a little bit, so you've got <clears throat> not exactly a simmer, a simmer plus a bit. If that makes any sense. Yeah. A, a bubbly simmer. A, yeah, a rolling simmer rather yeah. than a rolling boil. Exactly. And then in go your mushrooms. Right. And I um, chopped some of them if they were too big and not others mm. if they were not too big. <laughs> and then give that about three or four minutes. Have you uh, put onion in it? No onion in it at all. Ah. Not yet. There will be shortly. <clears throat> did, I say, did I say onion before? No, I don't think you've No, I didn't. Onion. I've got some extra things to add yet, but we'll, mm. we'll talk oh, about those in a minute. Oh, you do that later on, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, once they've gone in there, give it a two to three minutes and then have a taste of the broth mm. and see what you think of it. it now, there are a number of things that might need to happen. It might need to be seasoned. And if you're going to season it, like saltiness, Add a little bit of soy sauce and also a little bit of um, sesame oil too, just to keep that balance of mm, flavour up. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the other thing that you can get is a soapy flavour. And the soapy flavours come from the ginger. Yeah. It's not fragrant. so much ginger. It's more like flowery, fragrant. Yeah. And I don't personally like that. And if you don't like it, it's mm. a kind of a bitterness at the end of your top mm. back of your tongue. So um, just add a little bit of sugar. Yeah, or honey. A, a, yeah, or honey. A teaspoon of it will be I fine. I do that with a lot of things, actually, to right. balance. Curries. Yeah. Let's have ginger in. Just to take it, off that to, edge. Yeah, yeah, brown sugar or honey or something like that. Because otherwise it's just going to be that aromatic yeah. thing that's going yeah. to get on my nerves yeah. after a while. I think that's why I don't like lemongrass. <laughs> Yes, yeah, the same sort of that. thing, isn't it? I mean, if you like lemongrass, I suppose you could put yeah. some lemongrass in that. You? you could do, but it's Make not it particularly authentic. But then no. it doesn't matter. No, no. It doesn't matter at all. Now, we've got our soup kind of really working there. Mm -hmm. uh, so in goes the red pepper. And we're almost ready to put our um, spinach in. Oh, right, yeah, because yeah, that that's not been mentioned. Yeah. But before that, there's one thing about this that is really quite um, interesting, is that it has boiled eggs in it. Yes, it did. And so put yourself some boiled eggs on in a pan. Bring one it to the boil, One per person. And then turn it down to a, a light simmer and leave it for seven minutes. Mm. And then whilst that's doing what it's doing, you need to add some spring onions and the spring onions, or scallions they call them, don't they? Yep. The spring onions are chopped into sort of, I don't know what you would call them, diamonds. You know, you know, chevron. Yeah, they are. I, I can't eat them like that because they stick <clears throat> in my throat for some reason. Right. I have to have them cut very small. Well, the, these were fairly biggish. Yeah. yeah but, um, and, and so they go in, but I'm keeping some back mm. just for the very end because it wasn't a nice bit of crunch. Mm. So once they're in, in goes the spinach. So the spinach has gone in. And then finally, the thing that makes this a ramen is 200 grams of noodles. By the time you put your noodles in, you can shell your egg and slice them in half. Mm -hmm. When you've sliced them in half, you've got your chicken on one side. Any liquor comes from the chicken going go into the soup. Yeah. And then... I just sliced mine into sort of half centimetre slices. Mm. That all went in. I give it a jolly good mix, and you can see now you're going to need a big pan for this. Yeah. And it's about six portions easily mm. um, in there, and we certainly had some left over. 
Well, we had six portions actually because yeah. Darren had two portions yeah. and there was one left over, so there was four, five, yeah, six, yeah there was six, six decent six, sized yeah. portions. And you, you were certainly not hungry afterwards. No, it was very <laughs> no, filling. No. Now, if you where you put your chicken in last, so you slice yeah. it and then pop it in, pop it in just before serving, and then well, just before serving, pop the rest of your spring onions in, yeah, and then. You serve it into your dishes right. and then lay your halved eggs on top of the noodles right, yeah. in it each was, dish. It was really nice. And, I mean, I love chicken. I do love chicken, but I prefer seafood. Yeah. So if you were going to do a seafood one, would you, you wouldn't necessarily oh, marinate you wouldn't, that. You wouldn't you marinate it. No, you would have to do it in a different end. way. And the, other, the different way would be to put some butter in a big, big pan. And then very, very lightly sweat sweat your uh, garlic and ginger until it's it's not changing colour, but you can see that it's mm. changed in consistency and that your butter is um, smelling of garlicky, gingery stuff. And mm. then Seafood. you would add your um, other materials, your mm. um, soy sauce, mm. your Chinese fire spices, and then your chicken stock. And then wine your and all, wine, yeah. your vegetables, and then right at the end, let's say for example, you're going to add your um, prawns, king, king prawns, prawns yeah. say for example, um, you would put that in a few minutes, before. literally a minute and a half, because mm. it's boiling, it's mm. really boiling. And also, if you don't use raw ones, then they're already cooked. If you use raw ones, I would say three minutes to boil. Would you? Yeah, I'd say you possibly two. Because mm. in the when they've changed colour, yeah, it's ready, cooking all of the yeah. time, really, and it's very, very hot. Mm. <laughs> it is really, really hot. And th- similarly, with with uh, raw meat, you can slice your meat up, mm. like we said before, and then that can go in and that cooks. Oh, you can see it cooking instantly, mm. more or less. And then um, you've got other possibilities that I like can't remember. Pork. Now. Oh, of course, yeah. You pour fillets usually into yeah, fillet that a bit nice. again. And then you've got other possibilities, like for example, the previous day we had some pork left over and we had some chicken left over that has cooked. It was in the f- fridge ready to be mm-hmm. consumed by somebody mm-hmm. who was grazing away. It was still in there, so that could go into yeah. your, your ram and you, you, mm. you don't necessarily need to use. Um, anything other than what you've actually yeah. already got. Or you can use chicken, rather than the chicken, the raw chicken that you've cooked, you could do it with a pork fillet, couldn't exactly. you? Exactly. And marinate, yeah. marinate it, yeah. and, or and chunks, marinate it in the same way. Or, or beef, yeah. or almost almost anything. Mm. And it's brilliant. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the Recipe for the Day podcast. We hope to see you sometime at www.kitchennewbie.com. Kitchen Newbie is a kind of online cookery school which hopes to help people new to cooking and you'll find lots of easy recipes and techniques. So, why not pop down and have a look? We're new, there's lots to do. But we'd love to see you just the same.